right, let's talk about Gilfest, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Elevis. So, if you recall from my original um, video, I said I said how to be a pro at Gilfest without spending gems or speed up. Now, for L events, you're gonna have to spend some speed up at the very least, um, unless you only do Monster on. But still, it those are resources. So. First of all, we're going to look at the types, what, what you need to prepare for Gilfest if you're planning on doing L events. So first of all, you got to make sure you got some good gears. So you got, uh, you need to have at least uh, a research uh, a research set. You need to got a construction set. Uh, so you need your leader for those uh, because you need to swap uh, in and out. Uh, familiar. You need familiar because you might do some merging. You need uh, a hunting set uh, that you obviously can get the rewards from Gilfest. Um, so that's why free to play, it's it's hard to get a good set. Uh, what else do you need? Um, you also need uh, your uh, troop training uh, set. So that'd be the helmet and the boots from Hard Drops. And then if you build the champion often, you get a small training speed boost. It's not a lot. Uh, it's If you combine everything, it's it's about 15% maybe. You get the bulk of your boost from uh, adding lots of manners. So uh, it's always a good thing to only have one barracks, maybe two at the most, and then uh, have a combination of infirmaries and manners. Um, and obviously you want to max out your manner or at least have as, as many manners you can when you're training. And then switch to infirmary when you're um, you're planning on fighting and going in, in here. So uh, those are the types of, uh, of events you're gonna have. There are also uh, labyrinth uh, L events, which I as free to play, <clears throat> I don't suggest doing. They are very click and intensive, uh, and if it's frost swing, it's it's not worth it. Uh, Tycoon is always good, uh, but yeah, in that case, you're gonna have to buy some tokens. Uh, tokens are not free. The only way to get tokens, uh, aside from uh, buying them with gems, for free to play, uh, you can get them with guild fest rewards, small amounts, and some L events will also uh, give you uh, rewards. I think it's like three at a time. It's not a lot, so that's not the way to uh, to get uh, tokens. You really have to buy them with gems. But uh, all in all, the Tycoon L events are pretty good. There's like three of them. One small, one for Watcher, and one for um, Chaos Dragon. Okay, so that's the prep. Uh, the other thing, obviously you need some speed up, right? Uh, so you need a good amount of normal speed up for construction and troop training. Uh, currently I have a I have a good amount of speed up. I would, I would feel uh, very good doing uh, doing some L events during the upcoming guild fest, but for research, I'm very low on speed up at the moment, so I would not do research, which could be a problem. Uh, the other ones, obviously, a uh, troop training, which I usually use a bit of them and then the rest are normal uh, speed up. And as far as merging con is concerned, I have a good amount of speed up but I don't have the proper setup at the moment where I am only three springs. Uh, I'm currently finishing up my familiar. I, I'm pretty much, once I get this one to 60, I think I have one or two more that I need to do and those are only gonna be like uh, from 20 to 50, yeah. The, I need to do these two afterwards and, they, and they, they're, they're stopping at 50 because of, I don't have I don't have enough rooms to max them up, so that's why I'm not I would not do merging. But it's good to have a, a good amount of merging uh, speed. Now there are three types of L events: task, I should say, uh, quest. So uh, this is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna look at um, the types. Uh, and before we do that, so I want I want to say that there. Um, we're gonna look at the ranked one first, and my suggestion is if you're Castle 25, don't do rank uh, L or solo event task, a quest. 
because you're competing against everyone that's level 25 across all all kingdoms so it's hard if you're below 25 uh, which means between 15 and 24 it's okay uh, I guess it's uh, it's it's uh, those are okay quests as long as you got the speed up so um, let's look at the types of quests and what I suggest okay so the first few ones that you see at the top are the rank top 10 and L events or solo events they're only available in the master game so like I said Top 10 means across all kingdoms. So you're competing against everyone. If you're Castle 25, a Top 10 in L event is a pain in the ass. Top 10 in Solo is also a pain in the ass. Because you might have a, a big, a huge research for 10 million might. But guess what? There's a bunch of people boosting also. And you may end up rank 15 and spend a lot of speed up for that and still don't and still don't uh, achieve uh, complete your quest i if you're below tw castle 25 it's easier but it's still hard i've gotten rank one on my alts a couple times in the past when they were below 25 uh and some of the, the some of the L events that are easier to do, Tycoon are easier to do, Merging are easier to do because there's less people uh, doing those L events. Uh, if you're trying to do, uh, if you're below 25 and you're trying to achieve rank uh, top 10, when there is a troop training or research, one of the more popular L events, it's gonna be rough. So my suggestion, don't do those the top 10 unless you're below castle 25 and still it's it's still gonna cost you a bunch of of, uh, of speed up because you are you are not um it's gonna cost you a bunch of speed up you're not gonna finish the event you need to finish the event and then get twice the required points just to get top 10 and i say twice and really it depends you can be lucky you can be unlucky it's a gamble i don't suggest taking those if you're free to play and if you're castle 25 absolutely never never select those now in the advanced gauntlet uh, there's there are a couple ones but obviously uh 140 110 points i you don't want those you so you take the other ones but then it's still a gamble i mean uh, you, you can use a lot of speed up and finish uh, rank 80 and you've wasted that L event, you've wasted those speed up. So this is very, very uh, intense for speed up usage um, at castle 25 and even below 25. But they are some, they provide some good points. Uh, it's, like I say, if, you, if, it's, if you're doing that on an alt, uh, and you've been stocking up on speed up sure go ahead do it but it's very frustrating to use a bunch of speed up and not achieve uh, and not complete uh, an, an L event or or complete your quest so my suggestion once again if you're below 25 sure you can try it but if you're a castle 25 free to play forget about these all right let's look now at the regular uh, L events. So there are also two types uh, of L events, and I've not looked at all of them. I've only selected the ones that I think are good, so above 140 at least, 150. Uh, and there are two types of, of quests. There are quests where you have limited time and you need to complete a certain amount. And then there's the quest where you have um, longer time. Usually you have to complete a little bit more and you get less points. Um, so there's pros and cons to both of them. Obviously, um, the, 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 the limited time one, as you can see, complete. The, the, be the best quest, the, the biggest quest in, in Guildfest is the 352, where you have to do eight L events in 16 hours. That's a full day commitment. That is, uh, 
you like you could be very unlucky and get a bunch of labyrinth a bunch of monster hunting uh, w where it's very expensive to complete your L events so I in the past I used to do one one uh, 352 every two guild fest and I would only pick 352 when I wanted to do a challenge also and when I say a challenge I mean a chaos dragon challenge so but you really have to stock up on speed up for that make sure you have the resources um there so there's the 352 there's the 242 which is five and ten hours and then there's the 160 169 is is one that is picked often because it's kind of easy uh i mean you get you got like six hours of leeway to do three uh so you can basically miss on six l events and still be able to do that it gives a good amount of point also uh it's fast so you can do one especially if you have a bonus uh, bonus points in um bonus points in master gauntlet that's a good one uh so i would suggest that this one uh, this one you can do a bunch of them for guild fest that's 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 very good one now there's also uh the ones where you have more time two days two days and a half uh six seven ten nine and twelve uh l events and the last two are in the master gauntlet and you have three days to do 12. it's a good one you need a lot of speed up but the thing is you can take your time you have three days you have two days so you can look for the smaller l events uh L events for troop training only. You can choose the one you want. So that's why these these are slightly better. They give less points for the effort, the speed up you're gonna put put in. But you're you you have uh, you're not constrained by time as much as the other ones. Whereas if you do a 352, you don't have a choice. You may not have a choice. You may have to do a bunch of uh chaos dragon monster hunting or building or uh merging research and you might not want to do that but you might be stuck doing those so that would be uh that would be the ones i would i would go for there's a couple ones also available obviously anything under 140 i would not waste my time on unless like i said you have bonus quests for master and you want to do just one real quick uh just to get your bonus it's fine i mean uh doing smaller quests to get your bonus in the end may be better than uh not achieving the bonus but on the but doing bigger quests so at the end of the day it's your total point that matters so that's basically it for uh l events um like i say if you're going for big ones uh, lots of L events. It's a good thing to um, combine them with a challenge for, let's say, Chaos Dragon, because you know how oh, I love Chaos Dragon. So I would, uh, that's the way I would do it. But always plan ahead, make sure you have the speed up. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.